I need to know if your mom is, is breathing. She said, miss, there's blood all over the floor. I took pictures and I told my friends about it. Was that bad? You told who about it? My friends. Your friends? So you sent pictures to your friends? So what you did? What would cause a 13-year-old honor student to sneak into his mom's bedroom and stab her 46 times while his two-week-old sister was sleeping in the same room? The police interview has just been released, and when asked why he murdered his mom, Derek Rosa suddenly wants a lawyer. Why is he okay confessing that he murdered his mother, but doesn't want to say why? Before we begin, this case has not been to trial, and the suspect is innocent until proven guilty in court. Hello, my name is Holly. Welcome to the Murder She Shed. You can join me and Simon right here in the Murder She Shed, usually here weekly to tell you rarely true crime cases and also breaking news crime cases. Just make sure you wander your finger on down to the subscribe button. Just push it and come visit us right here again at the Murder She Shed. Also, go check out Strange She Shed. I will leave a link in the comments. And you can go check that out and see if you'd like to subscribe to that channel that I, me and Simon, do as well. Derek Rosa was born in 2010 to mother Irina Garcia and her father Jose Garcia. His father was in the military for 22 years. After they divorced, I guess he still had part custody of his son. But mostly Derek stayed with his mother and now his new stepfather, Frank Ramos. Derek was an 8th grader at All Mater Academy in Hialeah, Florida and lived in an apartment with his mother, Irina, and his stepfather, Frank. On October 12, 2023, around 11 p.m., supposedly Derek's stepfather, Frank, was out of town for work that day. Frank is a truck driver. Derek allegedly pre-planned his mother's murder. He had Google search that evening before he murdered his mom, some disturbing questions and a carotid artery image diagram. One of the questions was, what is the best place to stab someone? Is a small knife good for killing? Is it easier to kill someone with a small knife? Can a knife cut through bone? The last search was to inquire about a machine. Then after his mother and his two-week-old baby sister had fell asleep, he entered their bedroom and the baby monitor allegedly captured the moment he bent over and stared at his mom before stabbing her to death. He then stabbed his 39-year-old mother 46 times. The only parts of her body that didn't have stab wounds were behind her knees. While he was stabbing his mother, he called her a homosexual slur inish. Irina was stabbed so hard the tip of the knife broke off. Then Derek took pictures of his mother's deceased body. He also took selfies of himself posing with a bloody hand. He then took these pictures and shared them with an online friend whom he had been communicating with for three years. He also told this online friend, known only as Sweden, goodbye, as it was his plan to now unalive himself. But he couldn't bring himself to do that. He could murder his mother, stab her 46 times, but he could not unlive himself. So instead, he calls 911. How can I help you? <laughs> Could bring uh, the police over here where I live. What is your address? I don't know my address. Are you by yourself with your mom? Yes, no. My, my baby sister's here, so she's sleeping. Did you kill your mom? Okay, where is the knife right now? I put it. Let me check. Wait. I put it on the floor inside of the... Wait, no. Where is it? I can't find the knife. You can find it. Where is your sister? She's in her crib sleeping. I how, cannot see her. How old is your sister? She's only like a week old. Okay. And you did not touch her, correct? No, I did not touch her. I didn't want to touch my sister. Okay, I need you, I need you to go and find me your address, because I don't know where you are right now, okay? Okay, I'll it, try to find a mail. Okay, try to find a mail, please, can you? I'll, I'll try, I'll try. I need yeah. to know if your mom is, is breathing. She said, miss. Okay, why did you kill your mom? My stepdad, he has two guns. He has, uh, 
Glock 19, and he also has a Breda something. Is your stab daddy Glock 19 with him? Does your stab daddy is there with you? The Breda, I have the gun with me. I was gonna shoot myself, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Okay, is your stab daddy there with you? My what? Your stepfather. No, he is. He's a truck driver. And he's driving trucks far away. And do you have guns in the house? Only one, but he has another one with him. Okay, so you have a gun. Where is the gun right now? It's in the living room. I loaded it. I pulled back the slide, but I did not shoot. Okay, the gun is locked or it's in the living room somewhere? Yeah, no, I have it right here on the couch. Do, do I uh, get rid of the bullet? Not shoot it. Pull back the slide. Do not touch anything. Okay, leave everything how you or how it is. Blood all over the floor. I need to know. Do okay. you think we can help your mom? Do not open until I tell you to open the door. And to make sure that you have nothing but your cell phone in your hand. Miss, are they going to kill me? No, they're not going to kill you. We're here to help you, okay? We're going to help your family, okay? Ah! They're knocking. Do open the door. They're knocking the door? Okay, yes. I took pictures and I told my friends about it. Was that bad? You told who about it? My friends. Your friends? Did you send pictures to your friends? So what you did? Yeah. Do you need fire rescue? Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm not hurt. I just have a little bit of blood on my hands. And my... You have blood in your hands? Yeah. Stay with me on the line, okay? How you doing? Okay, you okay? When authorities arrived at 211 West 79th Place and entered apartment 201, the crime scene would blow their minds. First, they would encounter Derek, who seemed polite and cooperative with the officers. How could a kid like this have done these murders? After they entered the bedroom, they noticed it was covered in blood, with Irene's bloody body laying in the floor at the foot of her bed. There in the midst of a room full of blood lay a tiny baby in a crib that was unharmed. During the police interview, Derek admitted killing his mother, but when it came to answering the question of why, he suddenly didn't want to discuss that. Uh, what is there with you? My mom, now my sister, okay, I'm stepped in, like I'm I went to bed, and I just you guys uh, explain to me about the apartment. You have your own room? Yes. And your mom? Yes, she has her own room. She has her own room and your sister? She stays in the same room as her mom. So you want to sleep around 10? 10. Okay. And then what? I woke up. Mm -hmm. I went to the kitchen. I got one of the kitchen items and then I went to her room and then I ate. You killed her? What type of knife was it? Do you know? It's a decision uh, knife. That big? Yeah. What color was the the, the handle? Purple. Okay. Uh, your mom sleeping? Yes, she was sleeping. Where exactly did you cut her? And her neck. This is like a type of vein that goes to your neck right here. No, what well, that that's called? An artery or something? An artery? Yeah. Okay. Um, did you tell her anything before you stabbed her? In Spanish. Correct. Didn't wake up when you. She was asleep when you stabbed her? Yes, and then she woke up after a stab. Did she say anything to you or not? No, she screamed. She just screamed? Yes. Why did you stab her mom? It was a bad move when I said that. So you were about to tell me the why. Why did you uh, kill your mother? Do you know? That's the same now. Under one month later, the stepdad Frank had the apartment completely cleaned out. After it had already been cleaned, Derek's defense attorneys wanted to revisit that apartment, but Frank did not want the defense to do the inspection. The judge did grant the inspection, however. It is said the three allowed in the apartment, one attorney, one forensic examiner, one photographer, wanted pictures and measurements of the closet and how far the stepfather of Frank's weapons were kept from the bedroom that she was murdered in. Information is being spread on TikTok that Frank went and got his girlfriend in Cuba after this and brought her to America with his wife's life insurance money.
They had a party after the girlfriend entered America with her children, or perhaps their children, I'm not sure. And she was holding Irina's baby at this party. But as of now, all this is a rumor and cannot be verified. I just found some interesting little TikToks out there that do show pictures of a party that happened in December just after his wife was killed a couple of months before. If this is true, how did Frank move on so easily? Some people claim they can hear a voice in Spanish on Derek's 911 call and believe perhaps the stepfather was there at the time of the murder. Need to know if your mom is, is breathing. She's dead, miss. Derek's bio dad, Jose, and his grandmother don't understand how Derek, who they called a loving and good child, could have done this or why. Everyone felt that Derek was happy, loved his family, and loved having a new baby sister. Why would Derek suddenly turn on his mother? Derek had no history of mental conditions. After Derek was arrested and seen by a psychologist, the psychologist diagnosed him as having ADHD, and another doctor tested him on the autism spectrum, however. But still, no one had a clue what could have caused this, why he's done this, and to this day he has not answered why what caused him to do this. And another thing I wondered, although Derek had a weapon loaded and ready to go on the couch for himself, why did he decide to stab his mother instead of choosing the easier and cleaner weapon? Was he filled with anger about something? Was this why? What was he so furious about? Why did he call his mom a homosexual slur? And was there somebody in the background of that 911 call? Derek is being charged as an adult and is currently being held at the Metro West Detention Center. Was murdering his mother out of anger a way of proving something to someone online? Or was Derek being used as a pawn? When will we learn the why for the reason an honor student and a so-called good boy murdered his mother in such a brutal way? Rest in peace, Irina Garcia. Merry Christmas from my house to yours. I love y'all. You know I do. Simon loves y'all. You know he does. Is there a time you're going to be nice during this? Huh? We'll see how this goes. And also, we'd love to have you here. We're just simple folks. Aren't we, Simon? Just simple folks. <laughs> We're just simple folks. Just telling true crime. That's all we are, Simon. Just simple folk. Right? And Simon likes to be a hog of attention, usually. And go check out our channel, Strange She Shed. I will leave the link in the comments. He's not going to let me film today. I see it because I'm sitting on the bed instead of my chair. He wants to be the center of attention today, obviously. Anyway, let's get right on to this. <sighs> hey, I got to tell this story. Lay down the call and believe perhaps the stepfather. It's so hard to film with them working on my new house. If you know, watch my channel very much, you know I had a tornado. My house blew away, and now I'm building again, and it's been almost a possible task to get quietness around here, so I apologize. You wanna go, what do you wanna go do? Oh, I didn't say, I didn't say that. I said, what do you want to go do? You're squealing in my mind. <laughs> Everybody that watches my channel knows what he wants to go to. His favorite thing in the world is a uh, boom. <laughs> Four wheeler. Bye. We love y'all. Have a great blessed Merry Christmas. Bye. We love y'all. Have a great blessed. Don't squeal. Bye. We love y'all. <laughs> Did I say bye? Are <laughs> you screaming? Huh? Quit screaming. Bye. We love. <laughs> Let me say, let me say, bye, we love y'all. I'm gonna put a muzzle on you. <laughs> bye, bye. Well, in. Bye, we love you. Have a great night. <laughs> <laughs>